Well, new questions today about the October surprise down in Florida. Former President Bill Clinton urging the Democratic candidate, Kendrick Meek, to drop out of the Senate race. Did Mr. Clinton discuss the idea with the White House in a backroom deal? Republican candidate down there in Florida, Marco Rubio, says all the versions put out by the Democrats on what happened don't add up. And now he, sp he wants to know what specifically the White House knew about this deal. Joining me now, Richard Sakharides. He's a Democratic strategist and a former special assistant to the man in question, former President Bill Clinton. <laughs> All right, Richard. So uh, it, it's clear that President Clinton's fingerprints are on this. I mean, that according to Charlie Crist. I mean, Charlie Crist said openly that he spoke with, you know, people in, in Clinton's camp repeatedly right. and that Clinton went to his good friend Meek and said, hey, you could be a hero. You could drop out, give this race to, to Crist, who now says he'll caucus with the Democrats. And unless one of you gets out, Rubio is going to win this seat. Um, now Marco Rubio comes out and says, and this is a quote, what specifically did the White House, he means the current White House, did the, did the White House know about this deal? And who at the White House did Christ talk to? And so on and so forth. So he's trying to tie this directly to President Obama. Well, right. And you he's, say what? I mean, it's obvious what he's trying to do. He's trying to go from, you know, he's trying to take, uh, connect Christ with oh, President Obama. Mm -hmm. Because President Obama is not particularly popular right now, and, mm -hmm. and pile uh, on, pi and, and to pile on. But I, I think that connection is a real stretch. I mean, I think you know President Clinton is a close friend of Kendrick Meeks. I mean, this has this is you know typical Bill Clinton. I mean, he's 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 in there. He's trying to he's trying I'll take to take care of it. Well, he's trying to you know. I mean, what he's really trying to do is trying to save this seat. This is an, this is a seat that looks like the Republicans are going to win. And, and totally, if, that's obvious. That that's what he's going to do. But. The question is, would the former president of the United States really meddle with one of the key Senate races in this country involving the man who would become Florida's first black senator? Would he really meddle in that without running it by the current president or absolutely the White House? Absolutely, yes. The answer is absolutely really? yes. Really? Well, I mean, you know, they're friends. And I'm sure that the kind of conversation they Clinton had and was Meek. Clinton and Meek. And I'm sure that the kind of conversation they had was very casual. They were talking. And, and he said, you know, if you, if you dropped out, you could probably, we could probably save this seat and we could probably get Chris to caucus with the Democrats. And I'm sure it was a very casual conversation. I, Why I, do you I, rule out White House involvement? Because we're trying to get the sound by queued up. But Charlie Chris told Greta Van Susteren the other night that they, he did talk to the White House about this. Well, I don't know who he talked to. I mean, I, well, he's I, I not think gonna that lie I, about I, talking I, to the White I, House. I, I, listen, I, I think that this is Bill Clinton just doing what Bill Clinton has a passion for politics. Oh, he we got loves. It. Wait, listen he, to the sound bite, and then you continue with his love for politics. Did you speak to anybody at the White House? Uh, yes, I did. Subsequent did you speak? to uh, conversations with those close to Mr. Clinton, President. Clinton. Who did you speak to at the White House? I'm sorry. Who did you speak to at the White House? There were several people that I spoke with. I, again, but there several were several people I spoke vague, with. Again, I don't think it's appropriate for me to. I'm not. I'm not suggesting any wrongdoing. I'm just trying to get out the information. Uh that's Greta being a great cross-examiner. You know, and, that's Greta, and, the lawyer. And she out got there. her answer. He she, well, admitted she got, he spoke with several people at the White House. Listen, who knows who he spoke to? But you know. This is just President Clinton. You know, you see his passion for politics. You see he's trying to make a deal here. I mean, I, I don't think that people hold against him the fact that he's a politician. I mean, you know, if you look, if you look, if you saw Maureen Dowd's comment in the New York Times uh, this morning, she says to President Obama, she says, look, dude, you're a politician. Act like one. I mean, we're two days away from election. I think people expect people who are politicians to act like politicians. And I think Get this some is... Get deals made. Do, is, do what you have to do to win. Well, there's nothing, I, I think there's nothing sinister here. I but mean, wait, but let me get you to respond to Michael Steele on this because he spoke with Brett Baer on Friday and he says this could have ramifications in particular with respect to the African-American vote. Here's, here's how Michael Steele put it. If you had a Republican uh, establishment uh, or leadership uh, going to an African-American candidate and saying get out in the 11th hour, there'd be all kinds of noise that's raised by those uh, on, on the Democratic Party and on the left. And then he went on to say that this could cost the, the Democrats with the African American vote. Yeah, I think it's really a stretch. I think this is all people trying to make something out of this. That there's nothing here. And the thing that surprises me about it is Marco Rubio is going to win this seat. You know, he is one mm -hmm. of the stars of the Republican Party. He's going to be a senator. He'll be on the short list for vice president. He'll, if, if President Obama wins again, he'll probably be on the short list for uh, for a presidential as a president, Republican presidential candidate in the future. So they, nobody has to do this here. I mean, this is in other you know, words, don't making, pile on. Don't, don't pile on. Well, they're, Let it you be know, what it they're, is. they're making something. Uh, they're making trying to make something out of nothing. Let me ask you one one final question. Does this make Charlie Crist look totally soulless 
because he was a Republican governor. He said on Fox News Sunday, I'm a Republican, I'm going to stay a Republican, that's what I am. Switches to independent when Rubio beats him in the primary. And now, to get elected, he strikes a deal to caucus with the Democrats. I mean, he has gone full well, circle. Well, I don't know that he's, he, I, he, I don't think, I haven't heard him say that he struck that deal. Well, that I mean, was the report. I mean, that, the rub on him, right, is that Why he's... Why else would a, Bill Clinton want him to, you know, well, Kendrick right, Meek to get okay. out? okay. But, but, you know, the, the rub on him is that he is that he's a little bit, you know, one day it's on there, one day it's on this side, the other day it's on but, this but side. But why? Why would he be that way if, if it's not just about him? It's about, if it's not just about ego to be elected? Well, I don't know that it's about ego. I think that he's in a very difficult, very changeable political environment down there in Florida. Apparently. Uh, you know, he, he tried to win, he tried to win the Republican nomination. He couldn't get it. He thought he could maybe come through as an independent. I mean, he has not looked particularly good in this, but the point is, is that if you want to keep that seat away from the Republicans, you're going to vote for Charlie Crist, mm -hmm. not Kendrick mm -hmm. Meek. You, and, and if you're the politician, you do what you got to do. It's such an ugly business, Richard. It's not an ugly well, business. We're two days away show from an election. Show the picture of Richard with President Clinton again. It is Clinton not again. an ugly business. Let it's show a, the picture of this It's a very again. honorable business. Yes, look at him. Look at like the 15-year-old Richard with President Clinton. No. Hold on. Look at, look at him. What were you, 12 when you were advising him? No, but I was younger than I am today. <laughs> well, great job. Thank you so much. We okay. always love getting your insights. We'll see, we'll see you after the election. Yeah. Right. See you election night. Richard Saccharides, everybody.